ways to do this, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually do it. I'm not going to do the same three steps over and over, change virtual RAM, all that stuff that you've seen before. These are actually new ways and things that most likely you've never heard of, so if you're looking for ways to speed up your PC for gaming, um, th this is a video for you, because I actually have other ways to do it besides doing stupid things like deleting temp files. I go more into depth in this video than uh, any of the other videos I've seen out there. So, let's get started. Um, so I'm going to start. Ignore this. This is just my Skype call. Muted myself. As you can see, I have the Alienware theme. This doesn't really take up too much uh, PC usage at all, but I'm going to show you some quick ways to make your computer more quick. Yeah. So, you're going to go to Run, or if you're Windows 7, you just type in percent. I know I said that I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyways, just so if any of you guys don't know. Just type that in the search bar, hit enter, and just delete anything that's in here. And sometimes you'll come across the ones that you can't, you just hit skip, whatever. And then um, from there, you're going to go to computer, I'm going to properties, I'm going to start out with things that people already know. Okay, so this is all my specs and stuff, this is a netbook, so it's not that good, but I'm going to go over to advanced system settings right here, and, hold on a second, okay, there we go, I'm not going to do this part, uh, okay, so you go to performance, you're going to hit adjust for best performance, it'll make everything look really, really bad, but it will affect and uh, improve performance if you are desperate, um, the next thing, you're going to go to advanced here, performance option, you can go to advanced, you're going to make sure this is for programs here, you're going to hit change to whatever it is, and you can bring it up to recommended or even a little higher, I have it at 5,000. Note, if you do this, uh, the 5,000 isn't just going to come out of nowhere, this is coming out of your hard drive to give yourself more RAM, it's virtual RAM though. So anyways, once you do that, you just hit apply, okay, whatever, you're okay, and you're done. Now, now that I got all the annoying things out of the way that everybody already knows, I'm going to go to a couple of programs that I downloaded. First of all, Game Booster, don't use that, it sucks. I, I made the mistake of downloading it, and I'm going to uninstall it after this video. Um, CCleaner, this, this is a really good program. I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm just going to open up CCleaner. Uh, I think it's a Mediafire download, I'm not sure. I'll leave a link. So you just hit Analyze. So you just check off things that you think would be okay deleting. Uh, let it scan. Sometimes it'll, it could take up to 5-10 minutes, maybe longer. Um, but mine isn't going to take long because I already did this. So 246 megabytes to be removed. You just hit Run Cleaner. And uh, now it's clearing a bunch of junk files that you didn't need before. Therefore, it will make your computer faster and more efficient. So when that's done, you'll see that it has cleaned off everything that I didn't need. Okay, that, that's one of the best programs I've used yet, but um, it's still not the best. I have another one here, it's called, I think it's called Smart Defrag. Smart, Smart, uh, Smart Defrag, maybe? Uh, smart Defrag 2, Ooh, okay. So you're just going to open up Smart Defrag 2. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, right here. See, it removed it right here. Okay, you guys saw that. I'm gonna fix this out. No, 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 no. Um, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna hit analyze. I already did. This. You're gonna hit analyze. Then when that's done, if a lot of it's red, which most likely it will be if you haven't um, defragged, you're gonna hit defrag and fully optimize. That will make your computer faster. It could take up to a few hours. So if I were you, I would do this. Uh, I do this weekly now. Usually it shouldn't take more than half an hour, but I do it while I'm not home. That way, by the time I get home, you know, it's, it's faster and uh, it works better. Anyways, uh, now that that's done, what the? Oh. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to my my favorite program out of all of them. It's gonna. It's called Advanced System Care. It's actually made by the same guys as Game Booster, but it's actually it actually works. Game Booster doesn't. Yeah, I find it, instead of it being a Game Booster, it's a lag booster. It gives me lag spikes, and it just it just ruins my performance. Uh, now, having said that, I do see, if I if I disable background services with C, uh, Game Booster, 
sometimes I'll notice a little bit of an improvement depending on the game, but it generally I do not recommend Game Boy Star Dark. I, I'm going to delete it. Okay, so we're going to go to Advanced System Care 5. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description as well, as well as all the other programs. And yes. And, uh, if this will load, my computer is kind of Smart clean is a quick way of doing it, but I'm going to hit deep clean. Sorry if it crashes here a bit. But it does r it does raise my RAM for a second to help get rid of more RAM. So, yeah. Shouldn't take long now. Okay. There we go. I just released another 279 megabytes of RAM. That's a total of another 150. I've gotten over... 450 megabytes of RAM um, cleaned, so that's like almost that's almost half a gigabyte of RAM just from closing background services that I didn't need. So yeah, um, but remember I only have two gigabytes of RAM. If you have like an eight gigabyte RAM computer, you'll probably see yourself closing anywhere between two to three gigabytes. Um, there's a bunch of other options here. I'm not going to go through everything. Um, every one of them I find very useful, except Game Booster. Um, some of these need ProDition. Uh, buy this off their website. I haven't done that though. I, I think this works fine for me. But if you want ultimate performance, I guess you could buy it. But again, that's not something I'm going to be doing. Also, right here, it's quick care. You're just going to do this like every day. When you uh, turn on your computer, you're just going to hit quick scan and repair. Repair anything that's really a problem. Stops them from building up. And um, if you don't have virus protection, here's Microsoft Security Essentials. I'm not going to go into depth about that. I already made a video of that. Um, oh yeah, last one right here, RAM Booster. Okay. Come on, there we go. Okay, so this is RAM Booster. Um, target level of free RAM, this is half my RAM. You're usually going to bring it to like, mm, like, three quarters of your RAM. Making sure you're not running, making sure that you have that much RAM available at the moment. If you're running a bunch of programs, you should close them and then do this, and then reopen them. So I'm going to optimize. As you see, it's trying to free up this much RAM for me to use on my programs. Um, and this is freeing up even more RAM than I had before. Uh, if you close this, it'll cancel out the effect, so you have to keep it minimized. There you go. Uh, our RAM, right? I'm just right here. I want to show you. It says that it's at like 95, but then it goes back down. It kind of is just constantly going down and up. It's nothing that bad, though. I wouldn't be concerned. Anyways, um, that is it. So thank you for watching, um, and thank you for listening. Uh, you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you.